All right, this video, I'm going to uh, shorten the spring. Um, this is for an Air Arms S510 Extra. Uh, I'm just going to take it off a little at a time. Uh, I'm doing a little tune work here. So I'm just going to cut a half a coil off and then heat the end of it up and uh, squeeze it together and then grind it off flush. All right, so here's the spring. I just snipped uh, about a half a coil off. Some guys pop them in the rifle the way it is, but I am going to smash it down a little bit and grind that flush. Um, and then we'll see what we have, what kind of measurement we have on it compared to what it was a second ago. It's not quite finished yet, but what I did was took a, uh, a little handheld butane torch. I just heated this last coil right here up. and. Uh, it wasn't a dull cherry red, but I just did it just enough to where I could squeeze this in with my needle nose. And then when I released it, the end stayed touching uh, the second coil. And then you can kind of eyeball it. It looks really flush there. So what I'm going to do now is take it over to the grinder and just uh, uh, take a smidge off of that end right there to make it match the other side. But guys, you don't want to put too much heat on it, just on that end half a coil, give or take. So let's see how this does. And here's how I'm going to flush the end up. I'm just going to let it ride and just barely push it into the disc. That's about 50 grit on there, I think. And I'm just going to hit it just a little bit and then I'll put it on a maybe 220 sandpaper. And, uh, that should be it. So I just cut a half a coil off of this spring. This is for the uh, Air Arms S510. I'm do a little experimenting here. Uh, it's 60.91 millimeter. That's about uh, pretty close to one millimeter shorter uh, than the factory spring. So I think that'll be a good starting point. Um, it doesn't take much on these springs to make a, a big difference in velocity but as you can see there's uh, there's the end that I cut it's nice and flush now and I uh, sanded the end of it so it's pretty smooth so let's uh, let's put this sucker in the rifle and uh, see how she shoots compare it to the factory spring length 